so we already know that we can profit from the market when it goes up, when it goes down. We know how to count pips. We know how to count our profits and losses. We can use position sizing. We know different types of orders. We can get into the market now, and then we can put pending orders. We can put stop losses, take profits. But it's pretty useless if we don't know where the prices are going. So how do we actually analyze the market if it's going up or if it's going down? Now, there are two ways. You have fundamental analysis, and then you have technical analysis. Let's start with fundamental analysis. What is fundamental analysis? It's an analysis that we base on economic factors. Okay? So what we mentioned earlier in the videos is whatever happens to the country reflects on their currency. So let's say if something good happens to their country, something good happens to their currency as well. So it goes up. If something bad happens to their country, their value of their currency goes down. So we base it on economic factors such as, let's say, GDP, reports like GDP, uh, employment rate. Do people have jobs? Uh, is the unemployment rate high? Do people have money? Uh, we're, we can also base it on bank statements. Um, how, what about the debts of the country? Okay, do, are they very deep in debt or do they have lots of surplus? Political events is also a factor as well as natural disasters. So all these economic factors play well in fundamental analysis. So basically what we're looking at is we're checking out what is happening to their country and then that is how we analyze their currency. So normally what fundamental analysts do is they look for a strong economy and they compare it to a weak economy. For example, let's say the economy of i'm not saying it's happening right now this is just for example uh let's say the euro the european economy is really strong right now and let's say the u.s economy is down so that would be a good analysis that the euro dollar will go up the euro will go up against the u.s dollar so that is fundamental analysis Another way to analyze the market, or maybe the most common way to analyze the market, is through technical analysis. Now, technical analysis, what we're doing there is we're basing it on past prices, volume, and market activity. Basically, what the charts look like. So, normally, we look at the charts, we look at patterns, we look at supports and resistances, we look for signals when we're going to enter or exit the trade. That's technical analysis. We base it on past prices, uh, where the prices were before. Will they go back to that price? Will they bounce at certain prices? That's technical analysis. Now, the most basic way to analyze through technical is using supports and resistances. Okay. Supports and resistances. Now, for supports and resistances, what they are is that I'm going to give you an analogy so that it's going to be easier to understand. Okay. Let's say the price is like a rubber ball. Okay, The price is like a rubber ball. And you have your supports, which is your floor. And you have resistances, which is your ceiling. Again, your supports are your floors, or is your floor. And then the resistance is your ceiling. And then the price is a rubber ball. Okay, Now, if... We throw the rub rubber ball down to the floor. What happens is it bounces up. If we throw it upwards towards the ceiling, it's going to bounce down. Okay. So naturally, prices have their floors and their ceilings. This is where prices will most likely bounce. Sometimes, or actually most of the time, the prices go through those price levels. For example, we throw the rubber ball up to the ceiling and what happens is the force is too strong. So it breaks your ceiling. It breaks your resistance. What's going to happen, it's, it's going to follow through. It's going to go straight up until it finds another ceiling. So let's say we're on the first floor. We throw it upwards. It breaks the resistance. It breaks your ceiling. It continues upward towards the next ceiling. 
and then it bounces from there. So that's what happens in the forex market. After it after it bounces down from the ceiling, it's going to look for a support. It's going to look for the next floor. Now, previously, your resistance or your, or your broken resistance becomes your support okay, or becomes your new floor because you're already at the second floor. So that's technical analysis. Okay? Naturally, prices have their supports and resistances. They have their floors and ceilings. Aside from supports and resistances, we can also analyze the market through indicators. Indicators, they are uh, different types of uh, computations on the charts. Okay? So for example, you have the MACD uh, that measures the uh, difference between the moving averages. Okay? You have RSI, Stochastic, they also have their own thing uh, that they're analyzing. Now for indicators, what they do is they supplement your trades. Okay, some they can confirm if the trend is going up or if the trend is going down, and um, they can help a lot with your trades. But fair warning: please don't use the indicator by itself. For example, you have MACD, and you're gonna base your trades solely on MACD or RSI. That might not be a very good idea because most indicators are lagging indicators. This means that the price has already gone down before it confirms that the price is going down. So they're late. Okay. So these indicators, what they do, it's just uh, mostly used as confirmation or basically to filter bad trades. Okay. So please don't use indicators solely. You can, you please do have your analysis on supports and resistances and maybe on candlesticks before uh, and then together with indicators, that would make uh, a good strategy. Okay? But please don't solely analyze the market based on the indicator. Okay. So that's technical analysis and that's fundamental ana analysis.